What's going on everyone? Michael Druck Gaming here, bringing you episode 22 of our Pokemon Violet Let's Play. In the last episode, we finally were back from our flu hiatus and we took on and earned our 7th Gym Badge. And in today's episode, we are here ready to take on the 8th Gym Leader and get our final badge here in Paldea. So if you are excited for our final badge, please make sure that you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything here on Michael Druck Gaming. So in between episodes, we did do a little, little something, something, which you're going to see here very soon, but we have finally a brand new team member. So I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to roll the clip and let you see what happened. All right, guys. So we are here because it is time. I know a lot of people have been asking about me doing this and we have one team member on our squad that has kind of been fallen behind because he's still in his base form. And of course, that would be our Dolph, the Finizen. No, I do not want to disband the group. Ah. So, for Dolph, you need a friend to be in your game. So I got a, one of my good friends named Rom, and he has joined me here in the Union Circle. So what we're going to do is we are going to put Dolph up front, and we are going to throw him out. And, hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. I don't know if he needs to be in the, in the yellow or not, but... If you level Finizen up... In the Union Square, like so... I hope this works. I really hope this works. with another person in your party. Boom! This is what you get. So thanks to our good friend Rom, we have now the Palafin Dolph. <clears throat> its physical capabilities are no different than Affinacins, but when its allies are in danger, it transforms and powers itself up. So we finally have the evolved form of Finizen named Palafin, and he's learning a flip turn, which is going to be super crucial for our power here. So I'm going to get rid of double hit. So flip turn is basically the water type equivalent of like U-turn. Okay. So there's that. And now we have Palafin. Yeah, Palafin, and I guess Rom already got his. Looks like it. Yeah, I do. I do not see Rom. Up oh, there he is. So you will notice that our Palafin is looks exactly the same as our. Uh, Finizen. So, to get his... Ooh, I see a gimmick. To get his fully realized power version, we're going to need to go into a battle. So, I will do that in the episode. After I collect all of these gimmicks that I find. Wow, there's another one over here. So yeah, thank you so much, Rom. You are a king among men. Alright, so that's going to be it for now. 
but I will see you guys in the episode. Alright, so as you saw, our Dolph Finizen did evolve with the help of a good friend of mine, Rom, into Palafin. Now, I believe I did touch upon this in the uh, clip that you guys just saw, but you see that he doesn't really look any different. So in order for him to achieve his quote quote final form, he needs to switch out of a battle and then go back in. Um, his uh, ability here, zero to hero, the Pokemon transforms into its hero form when it switches out. So that is why I have a flip turn on his move set, So he can get some damage off, go to the back of the party, and then when we need him the most, we can send him back in. And this guy's stats are off the charts. I don't know exactly what the exact base total is, but I think it's like rivaling or even greater than some legendaries. So I am very happy that we do have a Palafin now on our squad. As for the rest of the squad, we pretty much remain the same the whole time, so don't need a team recap. I'm just ready to jump right on in and get our 8th gym badge. Great slow, sh slow on the slopes. <laughs> Great show on the slopes, Michael. You finished the snow slope run, no problem. And you know what that means? You've cleared the gym test. Way to go. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You want to face the Sub-Zero Shredder himself, Gym Leader Garusha? Absolutely. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. Woo, boy! Here we go. Let's get that 8th Gym Badge, baby. Let's get that 8th Gym Badge. Obviously, we're battling here on the ice court. Oh, It's a little baby. There you are. Brr, I'm freezing. Aren't you like... I take it you're a challenger. My name's Garusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills. Yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today's not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? Uh, you bet. I'm not backing down. Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do personally. Oh boy. Sounds like he means business. Also, I'm... Obviously, you can tell. I'm still getting over my sickness. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Alright, Garusha, what do you have for me? Starts off with a Frost Moth. Okay. I'm well, glad we have Toadstool up first. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. It's cool. 47! I'm actually gonna... I don't think there's much he can do to me. Ooh, he's setting up a Tailwind. Okay. I'm gonna set up rocks. I'm gonna set up some rocks here. And then I'm gonna Rock Slide. He hits the Blizzard. Oh, wow. That does a lot. But obviously, Frostmoth goes down very easily. It was absolutely unnecessary. Bear tick comes out. All right, I'm gonna switch into mini for now. And hopefully we can take a hit from bear tick. Hmm. Yeah, this is. Hmm. I may have made a mistake setting up rocks first. Oh, he has EQ! We're dead. We hung on! How did we live that? 
How did we live that? Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain about it. Good job, Minnie. It's a Titan. Ooh. Um... What? I wonder if Axo... Isn't this thing part steel? Let's go into Axo first. I think this thing is part steel. Though if he hits me with a ice type move, I'm kind of definitely done. Is it part steel? Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just not thinking. Ice spinner. Oh, what is that? It's like Beyblade. Ah, okay. Oh boy, this is fun. This is fun. All right, Toadstool. I'm sure he's still outspeeding me. He has liquid. Ooh, we, we still live, Toadstool. Let's go. We lived. How do we live? Dude, Toadstool. That was your chance, bud. That was your chance. Uh, no. Let's use a max potion. <clears throat> Ice shard? Okay, it's fine. Well, we know we obviously can take a liquidation. Rock slide. Still doesn't take him out. We should be able to live another one, though. We do. Can we please connect? Please hit it. Yes. Okay, so Titan goes down. Maybe it's not part steel then. Maybe it's just pure ice type. Taria. I mean, ice terra type. I'm gonna stay in. You're not just talk I see, but you're still one false step from a steep fall. Okay. Well, luckily, Altaria in its base form is still weak to the rocks. I'm gonna hit it with another max potion. And see what this Altaria wants to do to me. Battles are like mountains of winter. This situation can change in a heartbeat. Okay, what do you what do you, what is this thing gonna do to me? Dragon Pulse. Okay, that's fine. What if we terrestrialize and hit it with a rock slide? Hope I'm not wasting my Terra Orb charge here. Come on, come on, Toadstool. Obviously, Altaria is gonna 100% always outspeed me. Come on, Toadstool. You're always just one step away from devastation. The cold will leave you shaking. And now he hits the nice beam. Uh, okay, okay, good, 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 good. Let's go. Rock Slide comes out. We're terrestrialized. Super effective. Stab. Let's go, Toadstool. Alright, you got it. Good job, Toadstool. Round of applause for Toadstool. Round of applause for Toadstool. You melted straight through my ice. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I like your scarf. That burning passion you have. You strive for the future no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. <laughs> We're like, yes. Yes, please. Huh? You want a photo to get together to commemorate your win? You're more. That's, that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but okay, fine. Special occasion. <laughs> Interesting photo.
But we got it. We got our eighth gym badge. Let's go. With eight gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of any level. You'll also to listen to every word you say, whether it's cool or not. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. Ice Beam? Blizzard? Ice Spinner. Okay, we saw the one Titan use that. The user covers its feet in thin ice and twirls around, slamming into the target, Beyblade style. This move's spinning motion also destroys the terrain. Okay. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again. If you don't mind the cold, that is. We have one of those things. I forget what their name It's the pre evolution to Titan. Alright! So, that was our last gym batch. Michael! Michael! Gurkanackle! You did it! Ah, I'm so happy for you! This is the best! I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Michael. I shouldn't display a talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym, which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as the fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take on the champion assessment. Okay. Yeah, like, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I gotta take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to find two my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, Michael, and wish me luck, too. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that only that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me along those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League, northwest of Mesagosa. Alright, well before we do that... We have something else that we have to take care of. So, let me pull up our... Let me pull up our map here. Let me pull up our map here and see where we have to go. Well, actually, we need to go heal up at a Pokemon Center first. You need to go heal up first. And then, I think we're heading to the next Team Star base. So, let me take a look at our map here. Um, let me see. Yes, right here. The Star Badge. So this is where we're going for Team Star's Fairy Crew. Which means... Ooh, I'm not sure exactly what the best course of action would be for a fairy. Let's, let's take a look at our team here. I guess Axo probably is going to be the star of the show. Because Minnie's weak to fairy and Squeaks is weak to fairy. Maybe ESP might be able to do some good work here as well. Alright, let's actually fly. There's a Pokemon Center that's a little closer. I think this is the closest we're going to get. So let's fly there. That's why there. So actually, I found this out, I think thanks to TikTok. Um, when you're looking on your map like this, if you press in the R joystick, it will always point your map north. So you can see down in the very uh, bottom left of the map, it says north pointed up. So now we can, if I press in the right joystick, we can uh, angle the map how we want it, but if I do that, 
And it's always playing north. So now, I learned it a little bit too late. <laughs> so now he won't get confused. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do, because I see an item up here. What the heck? Oh, it's a houndstone. Not a houndstone. Gravard. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not sure Axa would be the best lead right now until we get to the ferry crew. Are these deerling just hanging out on the side of the mountain? Very nice. We have an iron. I would also love to show off Palafin to you guys. I'd also love to show off Palafin for you guys. Okay, so this is where we're heading, and I can uh, we can honestly see the Team Star base from here. Hmm. So how do how are we supposed to get down there? I wonder what they suggested quote quote path to get down there is. Um. Yo, Sneasels. I mean, I guess if we just do that. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I mean, I guess if we just do that, that's fine. Bergmite. Really? I'm not. I didn't even touch you. I didn't even touch this bird mate. Calm down. Oh my god. These hitboxes are like Satoddle. You see a Terramon up here. And can I get up to it? Ooh, Maridon. There we go. What is it? What's a primate? I don't know if I'm interested in whatever Terra primate this is. Could make things a little bit more interesting, though. You know I'm going to. Let's do it. Why not? Oh my god! It's a shiny Sneasel! The first shiny! The first shiny! The first shiny! Oh my god! Oh my god! We got a shiny Sneasel! I need to take a picture. Oh my god! We got a shiny Sneasel! We got a shiny Sneasel! Alright, quick balls, quick balls. Do I have quick balls? Please tell me I have quick balls somewhere. There's a quick ball. Oh my god, it's a shiny Sneasel! <laughs> the first shiny! Oh, Sneasel! That'll call. Sheesh! I don't want to KO this thing, though. Hey, Night Slash is not very effective. What else can I do to this thing? It's all effective, super effective, super effective. Yeah. Night Slash is the only thing that is not very effective. Uh, let's go into a mini, actually, and T-Wave this thing. I can't believe we found a shiny! I do not have shiny luck at all! This is a huge deal! Oh, I forgot about the Rocky Helmet! Oh no. <coughs> I forgot about the Rocky Helmet. No, 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 no. We're not gonna be able to T-wave this thing. I'm T-waving it. I'm taking the chance. I'm taking the chance. I'll thank you, God, for home claws. Thank you so much for honing claws. Hone your claws. That's fine. I was just gonna come up here and get this Terra Primate, though. And it's faster, so it already moved. Okay, so now I'm sw I have to switch back out. Alright, let's go back to Squeaks. 
I can't believe we found a shiny! Dude, shiny Sneasel looks awesome. I love shiny Sneasel. You got the full power. Especially right now, I can't hit it at all. So, I'm going to... Come on, Ultra Ball. Come on, Ultra Ball. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I need one of those crit captures. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got the shiny Sneasel! Let's go! Dude, that's awesome! I can't believe we got a shiny Sneasel. Let's go! Alright, we're going to name you. I'm going to name you Lucky. Oops. It's not even the fact that I found a shiny that I accidentally didn't KO it. Let's freaking go, dude. I call you lucky. Dude, our first shiny in, Vi in Scarlet and Violet. Let's go. Keen Eye. Defense of Spadef down. It's terrible nature. Metal Claw, Icy Wind, Fury Swipes, and Hone Claws. Very nice. <coughs> Lax nature. Oh my god. I can't believe we found a shiny. It's a random shiny. All I wanted to do is come get this primate. Oh my god, I wonder what terror typing you're gonna be. It doesn't matter what terror typing you are. Poison. Poison primate, okay. So you're still super weak to f uh, psychic. Level 50! Alright, I'm new turning out of here. Let's go. Let's go to ESP. Let's go to ESP. Satato. Ooh, Satato just fell down. Unfortunately, I think Psychic will definitely KO. Uh, what if I hit it with a pluck? Wow, that is nothing. Rage Fist. Ooh, okay, bye, ESP. Yeah. Um. Let me go to Axo. Let's go Axo. This is a toddle behind us. This is so goofy. I love him. Uh, what happens if we hit Mudshot? Break Break is gonna do nothing. It, it still did a lot more than I thought. Okay. You drop the speed. Um, how about a Mega Horn? You locked me into Mudshot, didn't you? And that's gonna KO. No, oh, oh, it just it takes down enough to break the Terra. Nice. All right, so Primeape's Terra is broken, so he's back to just pure fighting now. Obviously, there is a Pokemon between me and Axo. Can Mini survive a hit? And many survive a hit. So we can get a T Wave on. Rage Fist comes out again. Ooh! Oh, I forgot Rocking Helmet. I forgot about the Rocking Helmet. So, what typing is Rage Fist? I thought it would have been Dark Type. I thought it would have been Dark Type since it was super effective against the ESP. Uh, yeah, let's just check on Ultra Ball. Maybe... I guess it's Ghost? Ghost or Bug, I guess. Let's go. Because, um... Many would have resisted had it been Dark-type. Okay, so we got, uh, Primate. Let's go. I'm gonna call you... I'm gonna call you Piglin. That's what I've been naming my Prime Apes in our uh, live Champion Lock series on YouTube, which you should totally check out.
Poison Terror type, nice. It's it is Ghost Rage Fist, okay, with Vital Spirit. Special attack ups, but death down. That's terrible. Okay. So rash nature. Nice. This thing seems pretty strong. This thing definitely seems kind of strong. Alright. So. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We found a freaking shiny. I, and I, if that, uh, primate wasn't there, I don't think I would have even seen it. The only reason I came back up was for that Terra primate. Psychic Terra shard. Oh, okay, I see now, I see now. Yeah, literally the only reason that I came back up was to get that, um, Terramon. Elixir, alright. Well, I was honestly thinking that we would, uh... That we might be doing the Team Star base in today's episode as well as the gym, but random shiny sneasel kind of. Wow. Random shiny sneasel sure uh, changed up those plans. Oh, Primate took some time away too. Awakening. Ooh, the lucid toddles. I love them. They're so cute. A stone. We have what looks to be a round Terra Den over here. It's random snow run. Oops. Um you're not a shiny Sneasel. You're not a shiny Sneasel. So we just keep going down the mountain, and I'm assuming we'll run into that uh, Pokemon Center. Yeah, there is Team Star's base. Ah, there's the Pokemon Senna. Dude, I'm still... I'm still in shock, in shock over that fact. Over those two facts. Number one, that we found a shiny. Number two, that we didn't KO it. Like, that is a big deal for me. Lately. Lately. Alright, well, we're gonna get off track here. I'm gonna go up this way. Let's see what's over here. I thought that was another shiny. I just saw pink. So Flamigo. How do I get over there, though? Whoa. Flamigo. Come down. I guess we do. Flamigo. Fine. Get it. Play it rough. You want to come at me, Flamigo? You want to come at me? You want to come at me? You face the consequences. You face the consequences, friend. Now, I don't think... I don't think I can... hop up there. There's way too many Pokemon in here. It's Arowana. Oh, look at that! Aracuda. It's based off of the fish Arowana. That's so adorable. Yeah, no, there's n absolutely no way that right on. Yeah, and there's just way too many Pokemon here. 
I don't even know if I can get back up on the other side where I came from. Without running into a million magic harps. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Chill. You guys need to chill. You all need to chill. Okay. I'm so I'm sorry for invading your home. What am I doing under the... Oh, okay. Well, that's what we're doing now. Strange. Hmm. I came from up there. I don't know how I could get back up there. Uh, I guess we got close enough to the Team Star base. Whoa, like Michael. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. Like, this whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. I'm curious, Michael. What do you think of, like, Cassiopeia? They are a bag of riddles. Is that, is, like, is that so? Personally, I, like, don't feel like Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards him star. No, like, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. Oh, like, what could it be? Well, I'd like best to get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Okay. We can at least take out the guard that is... guarding... <laughs> the base, and then... In the next episode, we'll infiltrate base number four of Team Star, the guard spec. And I really wish Sneasel would like have gotten. Oh, I hear you have a Gotten like a new evolution or something, and we could use shiny Sneasel. Where are you, Gimmigal? Sound very close to here. Where is this thing? Is he, like, on top of the Pokemon Center? Oh. Wow. That's weird. That's weird that I could hear him the whole way down there. What? Oh, there is another one. So, is a wild houndstone? Are we serious? Yeah, maybe there wasn't. Maybe that was just him. It's a frost moth. 
with all those Pokemon. Okay, so, update. Oh, I was right! I was right. He was up on the top. Okay, but since we are here... No, nah, not the bag. Boxes. Look, let's just, let's just for a second. Let's just for a second. Ah! Shiny Sneasel! Oh my god, Shiny Sneasel, Shiny Sneasel! Oh, I love him. That will be etched in my memories forever. The first shiny of Scarlet and Violet, and also the first shiny on uh, Let's Play, too. We did find a shiny in our champion lock. Random, uh, shiny Mesprit in Platinum. Don't want to talk about what happened afterwards. But I'm sure, judging by... Judging by that statement, you can kind of guess. I hear another Gimmigle. I will return later when it is time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him, him my regards. Ye yes, Mr. Harrington. Hmm? And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Young master? Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew. The Rookbach Squad, led by young Maso Ortega. Um, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No, but please make up my apologies. Do you have any idea as to who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours. You know, I think he might be here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young master. Yup. Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Sure. Splendid, then let us begin. Sure. Alright, Pokemon Trainer Harrington. Oh, Morgrim. Yeah, I'm... A little. No, I'm just gonna U-turn out. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go into Axel. This Morgram is level 48. Yikes. Hey, Rough, we resist. Let's hit him with a gunk shot. Nasty blood! Boom. There we go. Nice job, Axo. Hatram. Oh, no. I'm gonna do the same thing. Psychic Fairy, not good. Not good for Axel. Not good at all. Alright, Hatrim. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna U turn. 49! That's almost an Oko. I'm hoping that because I had a Dark type out on the field. 
you won't go for a psychic move. Okay, exactly what I was hoping for. But, we'll uh, he outspeed. Bye, Axo. We lived! We lived! Let's go, Axo! Let's go, Axo. Come on, do not miss the skunk shot. Do not miss the skunk shot. Let's go! Alright, Hetrem goes down. Hey, Squeaks and Axa both leveled up. Well, well. An outstanding performance. However, beware that young Master Ortega's battle powers prowess so far surpasses my poultry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista! That gentleman guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. Unless that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on. Why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta let everyone know. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay. Oh. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's very crew, the Root Boss Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real leaf in the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is a short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kill off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Rukba squad off the map. Alright, thanks Cassiopeia. Alright, so anyway, I was trying over here. Might also be inside the gate. Which is what it kind of looks like. I see him. Ah, I can get him from this side. Nice. I was going to say, I might need to wait until I'm... Is that another one? There's gimmicks everywhere. Oh, ah, there's one. I don't, don't know. I can't see any from there. Okay, that's fine. There's another Terramon down here. It's a chancy, nice. Oh, nice, we got an ultra ball. That'll be good for some training. It's a Sylveon! Dude. Terra Sylveon? I love Sylveon. That's really cool. I wonder if I'm not gonna take it on right now. I wonder if Terramons can also be shiny. Like could that could that Sylveon be shiny? I hear one. Two great balls. Might need to wait until we're inside for that one. Okay. So there are some. Ch there's a lot of chances down there. So if we need to do any XP training, that would probably be the best place for it. Alright, so I'm gonna go and heal up. Right up here. 
And then I think that's going to be all for today. Yeah. I think that's going to be where we're going to wrap it up today, fam. So, we made it to the fourth Team Star base after receiving our eighth and final gym badge. So all that's left is two more Team Star bases and one more Titan. I believe one more Titan. Yeah. One more Titan and two Team Star bases. So in the next episode, we are going to infiltrate the Team Star Fairy Base and take out the leader, Master Ortega. So if you're excited, please make sure that you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything here on Michael Truck Gaming. And if you're not going to like and subscribe for anything, just like and sub for this. Just, just like and sub for that. Like, that... That just made my episode. I, I don't care about the 8th Gym Badger or anything. I'm just happy we found a shiny. So, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, wherever you are in the world, because you deserve it. I'm Michael Druck Gaming. You're awesome. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Peace!